Hello everyone, this is Allegiance Square bringing you another video. I hope you ha guys had a wonderful couple of days. I uh, hope you guys understand why I didn't record. If you are following me on Twitter, you will find out why. Um, boy, let me just tell you, at least in this video, I had a lot of busy days at work. Of course, work always gets in the way at jobs. You know what I'm saying? So, um, if you're new to my channel, uh, thank you again. I see a couple of people subscribe. Thank you so much for subscribing. A little quick uh, of what I do here. I do record uh, gaming videos on this channel. But today, as you can see, my beautiful background, my little, uh, my girlfriend's little dog, Oreo. So this time, what I'm gonna do is not gaming. It's a tutorial, basically. Um, I've been getting this question a lot on my job okay basically a lot of people are really struggling on how to record multiple photos on one page on in Windows 10 um, surprise it is very common issue a couple of people came to my job and told me how to do this and then when I checked online um, if other people had the same issue there's a big forums of people getting so mad and say I'm gonna restore my 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 to Windows 7 or Windows 8 because I can't print on multiple photos because of Windows 10 like they're literally giving up on Windows 10 just because of that issue and you should not give up on Windows 10 just because it's one little thing you know um, so I'm gonna see if I can do it easy as possible for whoever you are viewing my video and I thank you so much for you taking your time and watching this video so let's uh with that said, uh, let's get into it. I'm gonna go to my files. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start on your files. Let's say we're gonna go to pictures. Okay, these are random pictures that I got. So right here, I'm gonna hold control. Okay, I'm gonna hold control. I'm gonna, let's say you wanna pick four photos. Um, they're not all online, they're all separate. So you're gonna hold control click on each photo let's say i just want to click one two three four keep holding that control okay so whatever photo you finish clicking on the last one uh right click print click on control and this little window will come out this is print pictures right so you're gonna see right here uh the last photo or the last photo that you clicked on is gonna show up so on your right side you're gonna have these bunch of little menus of basically how many photos you want to put in I already clicked on four of them so we're gonna go to 3.5 times 5 that's four photos as you can see these are four photos in one page okay so right here in the bottom it says fit to picture in frame is that's always gonna be uh, automatically checked so that means as you can see when I uncheck that these some of these photos are not aligned perfectly okay so when I click on it it's perfectly aligned perfectly uh, put it on right in the middle of the page all right so right here it tells you uh, the printer which printer I don't have a printer installed at all I don't own a printer but this still works um, to show off to people who do have printers hopefully I will get one uh, in the future so right here you can pick whatever printer you need letter size letter legal whatever you have quality um, when you install your printer you're gonna have more qualities and then on the side right here um, it is blanked blank on mine's because I don't have a printer like I said but on yours if you do have a printer let's say an HP Epson Canon it doesn't matter which one okay so you, it's gonna ask you what page quality do you have uh, do you want to print it on okay so it's gonna ask you let's say if you want glossy photo glossy paper photo stuff like that it depends which one you need if you don't have those quality you just have a regular paper it's still okay you can still print on it all right so uh for example right here in the bottom on the bottom right there's more options so it gives you any other options you want to call management you can uh change the colors when you install your printer it gives you the options for that as well and when you click on print, I can't click on print because, of course, it's not going to show up. It's going to be, hey, what happened? Where's the, uh, where's the stuff? But you can save it as a PDF. Let's say um, you 
they don't have a printer like me you can save as a pdf and send it to somewhere that they can print it to you like an email stuff like that so it's not that bad it's a little trick that you can do it as well okay so when you print when you click on print there's gonna be a little uh, photo I mean a little square that has black and white or color okay so in case your printer say hey I can, you can't print this would you like to print it on regular paper you say yes um, and that little square is gonna show up on the bottom so you click on the color photos on uh, the color button and it's gonna ask you when a color want to print in color black and white or in full color it depends on you okay it that depends on you because let's say um, let's say the color does they're really expensive to buy on, on on the stores you don't want to waste so much color but if that doesn't matter to you then that's fine you can print in color so a little quick tip as well while um fix all this thing in the screen okay so i'm gonna do this one more time hold control click whatever photos you want to print right click click print go to the right click whatever page you need and just click print that is all just make sure that the printer is selected the letter size is selected that you need and the quality you need is selected and that's it and all in the pages as well okay that's how easy it is to literally print from Windows 10 if you want to save yourself some uh, money on printing you're really not into comfortable printing in color so much big color it is expensive if you have it in HP hopefully you guys know by now or don't know is there's something called uh, it's the link from HP I'm just letting you know now I'm not getting paid to sponsor HP or Epson or Canon none of that I guess I'm trained at my job to learn all these printers qualifications and stuff like that okay so in the HP website um, let's see uh, I have Japanese music in the background as you can notice <laughs> so let's see HP instant ink all right we're gonna go to that all right so instant ink basically it is you literally pay two dollars and 99 cents a month they give you the f second month free uh, get three months free actually if you do it online also there's a promo code so if you're like a college student or you know you're going to high school and you want to save your parents some a lot of money for they don't get mad at you you know what i mean and they can give you some better presents on your christmas uh or your birthday <laughs> show them instant ink it does save a lot of money so basically let me break it down to you a combo ink uh in a store will cost you close to 60 dollars okay so if you're getting black in color 60 or 100 it depends on your printer literally you pay two dollars and 99 cents HP comes to your house and gives you free ink every time your printer gets low on ink or surpasses 50 pages that's how easy it is so let's say oh crap I need to print a lot of pages for a school project or for a job um, I can't go right now to the store to buy something I don't have the money this and that you literally can look behind you or have in your closet a full bag of ink because you're paying two dollars and ninety nine cents a month and you can leave them um, anytime there's no extra cost for leaving the company you know what I mean so it's a great deal now that you can see right here um, school 3 if you have the instant ink already you want to put that promo code you get three months free so you don't have to pay two dollars and ninety nine cents for three months so it's not that bad you're literally getting free ink so it's, that's the best thing about um, HP because um, you probably wondering why they doing that that's like you know you're they kind of gonna lose money like that not literally people sign up of course they're gonna get more money just like that because you know people kind of keep buying printers stuff like that but they are going against Epson because Epson has something called EcoTank I can show you real quick Epson EcoTank all right I hope you guys don't hear my fan uh, there's a plane passing by stop it plane <laughs> So this EcoTank, what's going on is this printer can print for two years straight. Uh, 4,000 pages black, uh, 6,500 in color. It depends which printer it is. But it, or more, like this one, this is the highest. 
you can literally print all that in two years and the ink only costs twelve dollars and ninety nine cents each you get the combo it's literally gonna cost you 50 bucks but you're not gonna pay that every month it's every two years so between the two years when that's done you go to the store and buy yourself uh, another pack and that's it you're good you're set for two years this is why HP I think and my if it's me I think that's why they doing this because they're really competing with eco tank right now with uh, Epson so if you want to save yourself some a lot of money I recommend it I'm not getting sponsors by none of these like I said I'm not I'm just personally trying to help you out I'm a person that likes working with computers that's what I do in my job I work with computers I deal with printers all the time you want to hook yourself out save yourself some money get an Epson eco tank or HP ink uh, combo all right and like I said control hold control click all the photos that you need and right click and print and that's literally how can you can print on Windows 10 I hope this video helped you a lot this is a legion square if you're new don't forget to subscribe and remember hit that like button I do appreciate all your support and I hope you guys are interested on in my next videos coming up uh, I'm gonna see if I can do some awesome Windows 10 trips tips and tricks or if I see some gaming online that I can record on this computer Hopefully I can record for you guys and pretty soon, uh, not yet, but I'm trying my best to save some money and get myself a Elgato game capture for I can record my PlayStation 4 much better for you guys. How I did my last videos, um, you can click anywhere on the screen is uh, going to have a link for all the other videos that literally shows the way I record on my friend's Xbox One. Hopefully you guys like those videos also some Overwatch uh, gameplay. This is Alien Square signing out and I will see you on the next one. Prepare purse.